mchele mbili ya kukoroga chai aitamaliza mwezi kama mjanunua sufuria ya tatu hiyo naye niko shua i'm so sure like the day follows the night a month will not end before you add one more what so free sasa watu wa tiktok wanaenda kusema that is the first says you can start with two sufrias a family should be essentially a product of marriage for it is within the confines of marriage and family that godly children are raised single people that are here will tell you how difficult it is to raise children single and it, they could be the owners of those prados you see there and when a young girl sees a woman in her prado and sees that son seated on the co driver's seat and she has this good handbag eh? and the way they are dressed she's tempted to think i can have my own job and a good money and i can have a child without a man she should tell you what she's going through someone sang a song heri heri ni eh? heri kulea ha huh? ile huh? kitu ya kina sauti so linaitwa aje kwa boda boda kuliko ku Mbona mnajifanya mjui wimbo? Hiyo <laughs> kitu inakuangaje? Eli kulia kwa Range Rover, si ndio? Kuliko kucheka kwa boda boda. Akikuambia machozi yenye anatoka kwa hiyo prado yake. A young boy asked his mother This guy that keeps coming to see me in the house that is my father Is he your husband The mother says no Of course th- that is a biological son but father to the boy but is a man with a family out there But once in a while he comes to check on this boy so he asked Can I ask you a question? That this man that claims to be my father, is he your husband? Mom said no. So if he's not your husband, there's no way he can be my father. It's not easy. Let us just accept we have missed the mark. Iko makosa tumefanya. Tukubaliane tu kuna makosa tumefanya na tuseme kutokea hapa enough is what? Enough. Going forward we must do it the Lord want, we must do it the way the Lord wants us to do it. Going forward. But we cannot normalize it and accept it. We cannot I'm not saying children raised by single parents are wayward. We have children wayward raised by both father and mother and we have very upright children raised by single people. That is not what I'm trying to say. No. It takes the grace of God. But let us not stretch the grace of who? Of God. Let us not stretch it. The woman of God continues to say in page 49 paragraph 1 the vacancies made in heaven by the fall of Satan and his angels will be filled by the redeemed of the Lord praise the Lord they will not be filled by angels by you and me and not just any you and me a godly you Enemy. And that is why God is interested in children, a humanity that fears God and then trusts it to a father, a mother, a husband and wife and says go now multiply. As you multiply, shape a character worthy of heaven. So I'm asking again, are you gathering with God or you're scattering abroad? 
Are you on the same lane with God? Or you are scattering abroad? Abroad means you married for money. Abroad means you married eh? because time for marriage came. Abroad means niliona watu kwetu wameenda wote na mimi nikaenda. Abroad means hey. See the reasons people give you why they got married. I married for financial stability. I married for sex. Those are some of the reasons I've sampled in churches I go. And they'll tell you Mr. Kudanganya pastor, mimi niliona nikizunguka sana nitakuwa mgonjwa, nikaamua kupata mtu. They married for sex. Married people will tell those who are not married, if you are left with that thing as the only business to do your entire life. Utatamani kurudi kwenu. Si ndio ama sio si ndio? is a bigger reason why we get married the purpose that is heavenly that god wants my brother here and my sister there to raise a people for him he says i have i have vacancies here so many left by lucifer and some rebellious angels who refused to obey I'm trusting you that you will give me the people I need to take up those places and you cannot have those people with another man it's not possible is it yeah neither can your wife have those people with another woman is it for how now even if you lock them in a room for 1 million years it's not possible i can only trust a dego with mama there please give me an offspring and help me shape it with obedience obedience strict obedience strict obedience godliness raise for me people who fear me so that i can reach my purpose of repopulating where heaven so when i see you want to pack your bags because you are asked who is this calling you sweet at in ndo sisi tuko koka tuko 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 hakuna mahali tunaenda kama ni mbaya ni mbaya hakuna reverse gear tuna engage hatuwezi toka ati mwanaume huyu bwana yangu hata anitunzi vizuri like a couple came and i felt like beating up the woman ni bunduki tu nilikosa actually she's the one that called me i say i'm going through a lot of pressure My husband has done one, two, three, and I said, "I want to listen to your husband's side of the story." And they came, and I told her, "Thank God, your husband accepted to come to a place he didn't even know he was coming to." So now, who's starting the story? What chance? And the husband is like, "Sinimo men let up." Why answer your story? Ati pastor bacha tu answer, and the boy says, "Okay, fine. Let me start. Pastor, you go here." and begins to tell me the story and she felt offended that the story is turning out to be different from what she she told me i said apana hapo haikuwa hivyo ilikuwa hivi i said ilikuwa hivi apana haikuwa hivyo asa wacha basi kuwe venye ulikuwa unataka ikuwe and the whole story was ah nimewacha wacha basi kuwe hivyo haya tuendele pastor ikaenda hivi ikaenda hivi but what made me mad what made me mad in this story listen to me wa mama yangu wa wasichana wa mama washaenda listen to me they were in an affair planning to get married pastor hizi vitu hufanyika tu hata si atujui venye ilifanyika akashika mimba kuna mtu ajui vile mimba ina inakuja so nikamuliza ro aleleta mimba pastor unaelewa kitu unasema. Ambia sawa, endelea na story. Akashika mimba, lakini alikuwa anaishi kwa hao yake, mimi naishi kwa hao yangu. So nikaona ah, mi kama jamaa, hakuna haja wanateseka huko na mi niko huku peke yangu. So nikaona niwalete kwa nyumba yangu. Okay? But akaniambia, "Hapana, haiwezi kuwa haraka hivyo mpaka parents wake wajue na parents wa mvulana wafanye nini? Wajue." So they they went to 
the the kokinam schana no kokinam no no you know how all those things happen but they agreed they stayed together as they processed that so this man this is a man this is a man who's invested heavily and has not yet married so say there's no point we pay rent why don't we go to ile shamba niko nayo tujenge hata ka kitu tuanze kufanya nini kuishi the girl trust tried to protest najua wa mama wanaonanga tu life ni town ukimleta tu kwa mstu mwingine hapa hivi muambie tujenge nyumba hapa na kuambia ah kwa ni kichwa yako imeruka sasa watoi waende shule aje unajua naongea mtoi mwenye hata hajazaliwa watoi waende shule aje ajui by the time mtoi anazaliwa barabara itakuwa imefanya nini yeah i was here in may there was no tarmac today i was like donge that was 2019 yani kuna mama wako short sighted kabisa so finally she agrees and when when she agrees they have their child and they have a house girl the family is growing so the man is used to when they go to work they go separate sides of town you know how nairobi is nairobi is not like a kamega you can drop your wife on that end and come back to wife work on this end so he realized by the time he's dropping his wife at work and coming back to his workplace he reports at 9:10 9, 9:10 so he felt ataharibu ka so he said what i can do is buy my wife a what kwa baba and a half so he bought her a car and he says i taught him how to, i taught her how to drive and then after teaching her then when i wanted her to be confident so for two weeks i wanted her to be driving herself okay so he offered risking his work just to make sure his wife gets to work safely and then when i felt she was confident nikawachia ye gari so kwa boma iko magari ngapi mbili asubuhi watu wakitoka baba anaenda chwa mama anaenda chwa sasa na mafuta umewekewa umewekewa mafuta full tank so this girl goes to work and comes back and then hata ku refill awezi refill akarudi akapaka gari kwa kwa boma asubuhi wanataka kwenda job ha before the refilling when she went to work one day she got into some accident and then the man says eh hey, sasa utafanyaje tukianza ku process insurance it take long so what we do uko na kitu kidogo niongeze na yenyewe niko naye tutengeneze hii gari alafu iendelee kukusaidia and the girl says how much and the and he said about 100000 and the girl says i can make it 200 okay can pasta ni lingoja hiyo 200 siku iona nikaamua tu kujikakamua kama kama mwanaume nikatengeneza gari sasa nikarudisha gari kwa boma nikasema kwa vile siko sure imetengenezwa aje wacha nimpe ile yangu mimi niende na gani yake so the girl went to work full tank never fuels came back akaweka gari kwa boma hivi Asubuhi kufika watu wanaenda kazini, jamaa anaona amepanda gari yake. Ndiye anataka kwenda nayo kazini. So the guy is asking her. Si nafikiri nilipatia gari. And she says, "Mimi najua mwanaume anafaa chunge bibi. Hiyo gari haina fuel." Ai. 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 Yaani ubonga yako ni maziwalala tu hiyo. that was enough for war that morning and the guy said i'm late for work you know she's already seated on the steering wheel she's not moving she's not so akam toa by force she went to the other side akaingia so the guy said unaenda wapi at mimi naenda job utaona venye unanifanya you are chasing 8 am in the morning utaona venye unanifanya So the guy says sawa watu ende si siku hizo unafanya job kwa place yangu twende basi job kwangu and the guy drove up to his workplace and was parking in center of CBD Nairobi center eh katikati parked the car akatoka so akitoka huyu akam grab mugu eh hey, wa mama wengine mbona kuaga na nguvu zingine za ujinga akamshika ati unaenda wapi kumbe si mimi nimekuja job kifungu ndio hii kipenda jiendeshe uende wapi kazini hatuwezi niacha hivyo you can't leave she's shouting in the in the middle of 
not Kakamega town, in the middle of where? Nairobi city. Wezi niacha hivyo, wezi niacha hivyo. Ai, kifungu ndiyo hii, mina ingia job. Ati you can't, so, kijalo wisei, akatengo tiende. Akate, akatengo. Yani, akarusha mkono yake, mugu yake ya muachile. The girl say, haikuwa hivyo pastor, alini umiza mkono hapa. I say, what am I dealing with a child or what? Tiali ni gonganisha hapa hivyo. Misi kukugonganisha. Mini likuwa natawa mkono yako. Sababu ulikataku ni wachili ya mgu. Mgu ya. I say, I have serious things to do out here. This is what I'm listening to. So the guy decided to go to the office. The girl followed her to the office. Haka mutangulia kwa office. Ya buwana yake. Haka tangulia huko. Na flask hile tunabeba majimoto. Kwa meza yake. Documents za clients. Kamwaga maji, kamwaga. Tunakwanga na wamama wengine. Sa ingine wawanga msichana wa village mwenye kuna degree. Wachana wa msichana wa town wenye. Slay queens. Haka toka. You can imagine what your colleagues are thinking. A ghost from nowhere has entered the office. Mwaga maji moto, haka mwaga. So akiteremka chini stairs, this guy didn't want to enter the office because he didn't want that drum. So akiteremka wakakutana, haka mshikilia. You know she's still having hot water in the flask. Anataka kumuagia. Mbambia niache niingie job. Siku wachi. Kweni ujuu kutunza bibi. Yase kweni kutunza bibi ni kupele kwa job. Wakavutana stairs and people are passing. Clients are passing. Colleagues are passing. Time ya kazi pia inafanya nini? Inayoema. And then, akaona mtu wakitoka hivi juu koligu wake. Haka muambia, hey, nini ya umebeba? Kakashtuka. He went into the office. And the girl left. No, he didn't go into the office. He went back to the car because he was embarrassed to go to the office. Just went downstairs, went to the car, sat there. And the lady followed him there. And he told him, Ona venye unafika nyumbani. Nani sikupate kwa nyumbaya ngu jiyo. So that was the war up to the time they came. Because they were now separated. Okay? Are we together? That is not why we get married. No. No. If that is the reason for your marriage. And then they got into ati pastor apana na danganya uyu mtu walikuja kwetu kulipa kulipa mahari. Imagine anakuja, anakuja, anaanza negotiations na 100,000. So I asked her, mama, are you normal? So I asked her, kwenye ulikuwa nataka anzie wapi? Ati pastor, The boy tells me, Pastor, mi ni limuliza, ni kamuambia naenda kuona baba yako. Niambia, waneza taka how much? Akenda kaungena baba yako, baba yako kamuambia 2 million. Ni kamuambia, hata we unajua kazi nafanya, siyezi pata 2? 2 million. Kitu naeza pata ni 300,000. So waka kuja negotiation, Pastor, we unajua vizuri, kama mtu wakona 300,000, wezi anzia negotiation na abu 3, unanzia na wa? So the girl is offended. How could he come to her home? Start marriage negotiations with how much? So ni kamuza msichana, umerogwa. And she says, Pastor, mini menda rurashio mingi. All my friends have been married with big cars coming into the... I said, hey. Are you seeing the women we are raising? Those are the girls we are raising. Those ones. Small-minded. Small-minded. And I told her, do you know your worth? Do you know you're not even worth two million? Your, your price, if you were to tag your price, is priceless. Why are you frustrating this young man for a dowry that he will turn you into property? Tulifika hapo waje? Tulikuwa tunaongea. Your purpose for what? Marriage. There is a higher purpose why we get married. The Lord wants you to raise a people for him. I'm about to make a very foundational statement that will, will make you uncomfortable. I am saying, take note that God has no backup plan for this. And so marriages and families must, must work, whether you like it or The purpose to refill heaven with humanity, there is no plan B. It is marriage and family. It must work. You like it 
or not. And marriage and family will work, not because of the reasons you have. It will work because of the purpose that God has. And it will work because the, the originator of marriage is not a failure. He instituted it. It will work. You like it or not. It began well in Eden and before it could go far, it fell. And believe you me,